All right, so I'm done with what little grinding I did do. I pretty much got uh, Mitsuru, myself, and Yukari and Akiko all to at least level 33. So, uh, it's not much, but I don't think that we'll have that much trouble. But, all right, we're going to go back now. Especially because, if I remember correctly, the next boss is the one in the club, right? I think so. I could be wrong, but I think so. Which means basically straight up electricity. All up in your grill. Oh well. I see. This must be Tartarus during the daytime. That's right. Currently, I detect no shadows in the vicinity. However, we must remain cautious at all times. Well, nice to see that you have developed quite the personality there. I appreciate it. Class, we have a new student who will be joining us. She just transferred here. Please, introduce yourself. Oh god, here it comes. This is gonna be funny. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis. What a strange name. I wonder if she was born overseas. Or made overseas. Ah. Ah. Let's see. Anything else I should know? Hmm. Humanoid tactical weapon. What on earth? Clearly, that's a mistake. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. It just goes to show, you can't believe everything you read. Especially on the internet. You can sit uh, right over there in that empty seat. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, that spot's already taken. He's just playing hooky. Which means he's not here. So it's free to be used, right? Burn. This spot will be perfect. Because I... Ah. I guess. Fast forwarding through that one. Because she's a weirdo. Is there a problem? Um, Yukari, why are you standing up? <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like somebody's jealous. My, aren't we just full of drama today? Do me a favor and save the antics for after school. From Akihiko. I have something too important to take care of after school. I want you to come. I'll be waiting by the gate. Meet me there. I wonder what it could be. Ooh. Something that I think is really odd, and I just want to talk about really quickly, because uh, in anything that normally takes place in Japan, the way that text messaging is talked about is a little bit different which I always find interesting in that sometimes referred to as email or like instant message when it's kind of more akin to what we would call text messaging just a, a fun little note I know that they didn't necessarily talk about it uh, as like email or messages here but it, it's always interesting seeing it, it talked about in different ways I don't know. I'm weird. I like noticing little things like that, and it's a nice touch. Especially if that's how it actually works. I obviously don't know, because I live in America! Oh, there you are. What's he got? A friggin' gun in there? There's something I have to do, and I want you to come with me. All right.
You're getting on my nerves. The situation has changed. Sorry, but this time, I'm not asking. What? This belongs to you. We have a new enemy. They're Persona users, like us. Yeah, so what? There's more. Ken Amada has joined our team. What the hell are you talking about? He has the potential, and Akutsuki-san is okayed it. He's now a Persona user. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Let me ask you one thing. Was it his decision to join Seas? Yeah, he volunteered. I see. <sighs> then count me in. So you're the one leading the operations now, huh? If you don't mind me asking, what exactly are you fighting for? Women. Is that so? Well, you do your thing, I'll do mine. Is my room still vacant? Yay! So we're back. And today is Wednesday, right? You know what that means? To test our skills. But yeah, I actually forget what his deal is. I guess is the best way. Like his uh, abilities. He actually might be very useful in the next battle. Um, I forget because if it is the uh, the shadow at the club, essentially, I guess, and Yukari are going to be completely useless. So I need to be very careful at least about who I put in my team for that. Because it uses electricity, I'm pretty sure that that's obvious, but uh, it, it, it uses electricity, especially a very powerful one, and Yukari is weak to electricity, and so is Igis. So I honestly will probably end up using Ken, and either Shinji or, uh, what's his name, Koromaru. Good morning. You may have already heard this on the news, but... The number of incidents has increased compared to those during the last full moon. Really? Something must be done. I don't know the reason for the increase. We'll just have to remain alert at all times. Who wants to hang out? Alright, so... She's going to be the obvious pick. Yeah, she is going to finally deal with this problem and hopefully never have to deal with it again. Although I doubt it. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Actually, no, I could do that whenever. I could trigger Yukari's link whenever. I don't know the exact days for it or anything, but... I know I can pretty much tri- Oh, shit. Actually, you know what I gotta do first? I didn't turn in a request. Because, uh, as I said, I didn't really do that much. I just kind of did a couple of run-throughs. And I actually got really lucky with a lot of, uh... It's wand, right? Yeah, wand cards. And it actually allowed me to level up, like, I think, like, three times in one go. From 98 to 110. And then on the second go, Yukari and Akiko got tired, so we just kind of... So I, I, I was going to put together another team, but... I don't know, I... 
there are a lot of team members that I, I really don't, like, I don't mind using, but I just, for some reason, Junpei <clears throat> is not one of my favorites to use in party. So, he, he and somebody else will not be really used heavily. Especially just because of the fact that when they, they disappear at some point, and that erases the, how important, or how much I need to rely on them, if that makes any sense. So, it's just, because I like to, I'm, I'm that kind of guy who kind of creates a party and sticks with it, whereas it, with Junpei and another person, it, it ends up not working out that well, because when you leave, you're not as important to me, which is pretty obvious, but... All right, so now, yeah, we're going to do this just because I want to complete it right now. Because this should be nine, and I don't think anything really crazy comes after that. Like, point-wise, I think it's pretty easy to max out uh, the Justice Link. And I think that that's the part of the reason why any guide you might see will always suggest that be one of the first to max out. Oh, actually, just because I totally forgot. Do I even have one? Yeah, I do. <laughs> this is the first one. I'm dumb. I didn't pay attention. All right, let's do this then. Yep. Feel a bit uncomfortable. There is an announcement. Attention, please. Sophomore Chihiro Fushimi and Junior Makoto Yuki, the student council president would like to speak with you. Please go to the student council room immediately. I repeat again. The president wants to speak with me. Uh-oh. Don't tell me the president thinks I stole the money, too. Don't worry, she'll help us. Right, she will, won't she? If I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Good, you two are here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... You think I stole the money. Chihiro. I'd like to hear the whole story directly from you. Um, um... You made eye contact with Chihiro. And it did wonders. Wait and see what happens. Thank you. I, I can do this for myself. It's okay. It's not necessarily someone who's good at counting money who makes the best treasurer. I prefer someone who will work diligently without complaining. From what I've seen in student council, Chihiro, it's obvious that you didn't take the money. Thank you, Miss President. I was just testing you. In a situation like this, I'm afraid you have to prove your innocence. Do you think you can do that? It's difficult to say this, and uh, I'll probably regret it, but I don't think I can do it. Never be embarrassed of who you are. Allow me to take care of it. It's my responsibility as student council president. Give me a hand, will you? All right. I'd like to know more about Chihiro, and I've seen you two together after school. I want to prove to those who suspect her that even outside of school, she behaves respectively. I'll leave tonight open. Come to my room when you're free. Try not to be seen by anyone. Please, wait. That means you two will be meeting alone? Someone's jealous. I don't want to make things worse. Even in the dorm, there are students who spread rumors. No, that's unacceptable. I won't let you do it. Uber jealousy. 
get away from him. There's no way I'll agree to that. If I can clear my name, it won't be necessary, right? I'm going to talk to the teacher. Chihiro. Well. Damn, she is angry. I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I handed the fee money to you directly. Do you expect me to just pretend that never happened? Calm down. Please explain or else... Sorry, it, it's all my fault. Or else someone important to me will... Huh? That day, I had to stay late and I missed my train. I didn't have any money on me, so I used what you collected to pay for a taxi. What? I fully intended to return the money, but then I forgot. I must be getting old, huh? <laughs> uh, God, you're horrible. It, it's not funny. Don't worry, I'll explain to the class what happened and return the money. So please forgive me. I assumed it was just a misunderstanding, but this is inexcusable. You call yourself a teacher? Misappropriation of public funds is a serious crime. I will report this immediately. Please don't... It's okay. If that's the case, then I'll... Let's go. See, everything got handled. Makoto Kun over here. So pretty. Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself. She is maniac maniacally laughing. Oh, nothing. Remember what I said to Mitsuru-san? Get away from him. <laughs> I was worried what might happen if you and Mitsuru-san were alone together. I was so flustered I almost passed out. I'm pretty weird, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I've been like that ever since I was a kid, or so my mother says. Normally I'm quite timid, but when it comes to something I care about, then I become aggressive. I've been talking to my mother about you, and she wants to meet you. Would you like to come over to my house one day, you know, when you're not busy? I keep, I keep forgetting about how weird some of these, or not necessarily weird, but... How funny some of these are. Oh, I still have to apologize. And I think I owe her an explanation. Hey. I haven't introduced myself, have I? Shinjiro Aragaki. Don't worry, I got your back. Well, that's good to know. Um, there will be a full moon the day after tomorrow. I'm sure another shadow will appear, so please be ready. Alright. Thanks. Oh, actually, you know what? I can totally use this as an excuse to... I can use this as an excuse to check his stats and stuff. He's level 37. Let's check his persona. He has zero weaknesses, which is probably what I'm going to go with. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, okay. So that's cool. I do need to get... Or maybe not get him some gear, but... Uh, at least get him a little bit of a better armor and uh, shoes. How many shoes do I have? Shoes... Alright, I'll, I'll probably go and get a pair tomorrow just for him, just for this upcoming battle, because, yeah. Actually, what's today? Today's Thursday, so we don't have to do anything until Sunday. So we're gonna go see if Mr. Devilman is down there. As is tradition. And then we'll probably do the full moon. Actually, no, we still got a little bit, but still got two days. 
But soon we'll do the full moon. No, he's never here when I want him to be. What a jerk, right? Why doesn't he just completely free himself according to my schedule? God, some people are so inconsiderate. Alright, so I guess we can go back and we'll just do the normal thing and do the studying. Or maybe we can do a walk. Arf. Okay. What does Igus have to say? Koromaro-san told me something interesting. He says Shinjiro-san has been feeding him from time to time. Oh, okay. He's another one of those... It, it's pretty much an anime trope at this point where it's like the... Uh, the kind of gruff and not nice character has like a heart of gold. Because you know. It's how it works. Alright, so study and... Hopefully, I won't get sick. Because then I could do the other, th the other request a little bit later. And hopefully, that also means that we will get pretty close to uh, doing stuff. I forget. Well, I'm being dummy. Oh, no. The foreboding music. Ooh. Sup, dude, there's a full moon tomorrow. You remember. But this will this time will be tougher than the last. So, we can do it. So? Dude, how can you be so calm? There's only four shadows left. Maybe they're getting nervous. Or maybe the next one is just insanely strong. Oops. Haha. <laughs> I shouldn't jinx it. Well, we can handle it. Okay. I'm counting on you to sit on the sidelines and not do anything. Yeah. Team player. Yo, Chidori. How's your hand? I don't see anything. I, not even a scar. Did it heal that quickly? Hey, Junpei. What do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathing, I guess. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about it before. I mean, stalking women that you don't know? I mean, does that make you feel alive? Probably makes your heart race a little bit. So maybe? What I'm trying to get at, Junpei, here is that you're creepy. You're very creepy. How about you, Chidori? Is that why you draw? Maybe. But most of these are just scribbles. I don't understand myself very well. I see. Mind if I sit here? Making his move. To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. Here we go, he's gonna confess his creepiness. When I get to play hero. In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the chosen ones stand against the forces of evil. What a weirdo. Although that is kind of what happens. Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Hmm. I think she understands now. Um, you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? Hey, I, I, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one knows about, right? Uh-oh. So then, no one knows what you've been doing either. That means you'll never receive any recognition. I'm impressed. I didn't know you're that kind of guy. For real? You actually believe me? Uh. Tell me more. You really want to know? <sighs> okay, but don't tell anyone, all right? Oh yeah, I forgot. She, because I, I was about to say, wasn't she with them? But no, she was with them when they went to go see uh, 
Shinjiro. Or no, actually, I don't even know if they were. Or if she was. Maybe she was. Maybe she wasn't. You see, there's this special power called Persona. And only those who have it can defeat the monsters. That's what I meant by the Chosen Ones. Oh my god. My friends are fighting too. And ever since I joined them, we've been kicking some serious ass. Sounds like fun. Are you the leader? Because it sounds like you're pretty strong. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I guess you could say that. Liar! I mean, <laughs> without me, things would just fall apart. Someone's gotta be in charge, after all. It's pretty tough being a leader. Uh, I forgot. I forgot about all this. Now I remember what's going to happen next. Thank you, Junpei. I had fun today. Y you did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, huh? All right. That is not the droid you're looking for there, buddy. Did he skip school? All right, so who is pretty much available today? Nobody, really. Nobody that give a shit about. I'm just kidding, of course. I love all of you guys. You're all my favorites. All of you. Alright, maybe we should hang out with Kenji. Because he has been pestering us for quite a while now. Um. Hmm. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Dude, this is not good. Yeah, let's do it. Makoto. Thanks. Then let's go somewhere we can talk. Please, God. Hey, sorry I asked you to come here. I... Never mind. Are you in trouble? Right. Dude, I don't know what to do. Well, the whole school knows about me and Amiri. It's a huge scandal. Amiri's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What should I do, dude? Um, should talk to her. Yeah, man, that's what I thought. But she's like totally avoiding me. It's like all of a sudden she won't take my phone calls or reply to my text messages. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan. I need your help, dude. Yeah. See, as I pretty much said, it gets weird with his link a little bit. Although all of them aren't necessarily the happiest. Later, dude. Thanks for the talk. Yeah, pretty much... The majority of the links, although they may have, like, a somewhat positive Where end... Where have you been? They... Like, the, the content within isn't necessarily always the happiest. Tomorrow's finally the day. I'll make sure we win no matter what. You are actually going to be my best friend, buddy. Yeah, so it'll probably be... Him, her, and him. Actually. That seems like a pretty good team. Alright, so let's save and we can call it here. And then uh, we will do... The full moon thing. And, uh, actually, I don't think I'll have too much trouble, but you never know. 
as I said, most of the story bosses are pretty easy. Or I don't want to say easy because that'd be, you know, not true. But they're not necessarily as hard as some of the Tartarus bosses because getting the documents isn't necessarily required to beat the game. Just getting to the top of Tartarus is required by the end of the video game. So, you know. 